This video is for authorized personnel only. Viewer discretion is advised. Fresh, hot, off the presses. Cobra posted a video. Well, it was a stream. 40 minutes long. I'm not doing the whole 40 because I ain't got time for that. I got other things I got to be doing. Called, I press charges. Hmm. Ain't that a, ain't that a, 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 a interesting thing, right? So, for all you Cobra fans out there, all you uh, bad goth boys and girls and uh, the rest, <laughs> let's get, let's get into it. Bailey YouTubers, so I did file a official charges on Jessica Boyle for revenge pulling my ass. She said... Oh, yes. Uh, the previous video... I don't mean to quote Bishop Wyatt there. Ah, oh, yes. Um, the previous video, he talked about uh, Jessica was had some, some uh, nudes of his, and she was threatening to leak them. Um, why? Why? Why would you ever want to take a picture, of, especially when you're fucking something like Jessica? Like, why would you want to take a picture of that? Why would you want to record that? That's weird. I can understand if he sent something to her and she said something to him. I can understand that. But why would you want to film that? That that would be like your darkest hour, bro. You gotta be like 10, 10 Jaeger bombs in, you know, full on... Only use me blade, fire sales, figure it out, dude. About to lose my legs to, to diabetes and, and liver failure, even though I got <laughs> a drink. I can't, I can't even figure that thought out. Figure it out, dude. Um, Why would you want to record that, Cobra? That made no sense. Makes no sense to record that. That's disgusting. Sent the pocket knife that I bought for her back with a bunch of other things. And a bullshit fucking manipulative fucking letter that I just ripped up and tore apart after I read. The whole letter she hand wrote was basically talking about herself. People warned me about... Oh, so he blocked her on everything. And since he wouldn't let her contact him, she started sending him letters. That is the sure sign that you have a stalker, my guy. And you're making the right choice by pressing charges. Oh, Jessica, they said she's fucking crazy, dude. Don't do it. And I'm like, how bad can she really be? And the problem with Jessica Boyle is she's so mentally insufferable, she either does it on purpose to try to get what she wants, or she's mentally unaware of how insufferable she is, and she can't help it because she's got mental problems. And either way, it's frustrating. No, she's just nuts. She knows exactly what she's doing. She wouldn't record the video where you literally had a fucking shotgun in your mouth, right? And then set up the camera just perfectly so the shot would go over her shoulder and she can see you in the background with the gun. She knows exactly what she's doing, bro. She's not new to any of this stuff. She knows what she's doing. She's doing it for a purpose. Okay? And we we, we had been telling you for the longest time, all of us commentators, people in other communities, people that watch you, people that actually like you, other people like that, we've been telling you for a very very long time that she had ulterior motives. She was planning something. So you 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 can come up here and, and, and cry all you want, like all this stuff is happening. She's crazy, she's crazy. We've been telling you from the beginning you need to get rid of that Mrs. Massey from the shining looking ass bitch. For a while now, Cobra. We told you as soon as she reached out to you. This bitch is crazy. This this chick is crazy. She came there. You guys did it. She stayed for a week. She left. We told you. She's crazy. She comes back. Didn't go so well. She left. You told her not to come back. She came back. You fucked her. She left. And now you're at the spot that you're in. We told you from the beginning, Cobra. We told you, we warned you, we tried to help you out, but you didn't take the signs. You either didn't want to hear them, or you were just like so far into your dry spell that you were just kind of like, I need this, I'm so lonely. You're both lonely people. 
Only difference is she's crazier than you are. Jessica Boyle is like, I want the pink coat back. And I'm like, you left it here and told me I don't want it for Chris. And that's funny how like Chris can buy your plane tickets only because he wants content. And you tell Chris you're not going to drink while you're at Josh's. And you drink every day you've been here. And then when I go to hand you your coat back, you're like, I don't want it because Chris gave it to me. Why is she mad at Chris? Because Chris told Courtney Noit on stream that Jessica Boyle was staying with me until the remainder of her visit was over. And Jessica Boyle saw this on Courtney's stream and fucking lost her shit. Sitting there like, I can't believe Chris said that. And then what does she fucking go and do? She fucking goes and starts streaming in my house without my permission. And then lies to me about it and then makes a fight about it. And instead of being about communication, what she claims to be about. So that explains a lot right there. So he's, she's wanting the jacket back, even though she said she didn't want the jacket. But the reason she said she didn't want the jacket because she didn't like Chris because Chris was the one that spilled the beans that she was staying there in the first place. Remember back when she went there the second time? And it might, it might have been the third time. And Cobra adamantly denied that she was there with him. And then all of a sudden Jessica goes live. I think this was around the same time he had the shotgun incident. But you can't lie to your audience like that, bro. You can't lie to your audience. We're not as stupid as you are. And you're not smarter than us. She films the entire fucking thing for the internet to laugh and ridicule us for. And then she'll play victim because she's sick and tired of people bullying us and bullying her. She doesn't fucking think. Her no, she's just not ha used to having as many trolls as you have. Eh, she put the quarter in the jukebox. She can dance to the song. She might be doing the chicken dance, but other than that, fuck it. Hit the gritty for me, Jessica. Do the truffle shuffle with your fucking wrinkly body. The drive and addiction for alcohol and social media and attention on social media outweighs any rational thoughts, and she needs fucking help. Like, I, I read the letter she sent me with her fucking stupid care package. She's not getting any of that crap back because she told me, I don't want that pink jacket back. Chris gave it to me. And now several fucking weeks later, she's sitting here saying, sending me a letter. Well, you better send that back. Like, she doesn't fucking comprehend reality. I'm going to donate that fucking jacket to charity, to people who fucking need clothes more than she does. Good. Good. Get something out of it, Cobra. Help other people. Don't make it all about you. There are other people that need things, bro. And you're up here... Asking for money, you know, so you can go buy your alcohol or door dashes and stuff like that, which you just massacre and spend an outrageous mu amount of money on. Do good for others. There's a tribe that studies actually doing acts of kindness as a, as a, a form of spiritual healing. They do acts of kindness where they help out the other tribes people. Not because they're just like some indigenous tribe, but because they believe that doing things for other people out of the kindness of your heart gives you some sort of karma. Good karma that helps you heal. So maybe you should practice that. Practice that a little bit more instead of sitting on your ass and getting drunk all day and night and week and weekend and month and year and decade. And Jessica Boyle can fuck right off. I've already pressed charges on her for fucking revenge pointing my ass. I had a nice little conversation with the cast of the police department about that. And I'm trying to let go of Jessica, ignore her stupid shit, and move on. And she just keeps coming up like an unwanted fucking bullshit issue. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of like if a certain um, STD she gave you. Something that's reoccurring. I don't know, kind of forms and blisters. Mm, I think it rhymes with schmurpies. Yeah, yeah, she's she's just like that one thing that uh that H. <laughs> uh, I need another beer. I need another beer. I do. I wake up this morning and people are like, "Oh my God, Josh, Jessica's revenge planning you." And I'm like, seriously? And then she complains because Messica will take the shit she posts publicly on her Cam 4. And then Jessica Messica will post it on her Facebook. 
And Jessica Boyle will complain because it's revenge porn. And I hate Jessica Messica. And then what she does, she do, she's the world's biggest fucking hypocrite because this will do the exact same thing to me. The only difference is, is what me and Jessica did on camera, allegedly, is fucking private. And then I would never revenge porn Jessica, no matter how mad she made me. Because I'm the more mature and bigger person. And the fact that Jessica Boyle can't stop talking about me on her fucking streams, and she's trying as hard as she can to use me for clout, and then wants to accuse me of all the shit she's doing in that letter. Reading that letter was just so laughable, and the fact that she took time to write the letter out shows she is hooked on me, dude. Cobra. Cobra, Cobra, Cobra. I would bring the, 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 the water temperature down just a little bit. That peanut head's going to start turning red in a little bit. But... So, the whole aspect of this, revenge corn, right? I'm going to censor myself here. I don't see the point in that, but it will prove a lot of things, okay? Because, you know, he, he always talks about how the how all the, all the females like his girth. <laughs> Like a, like a weirdo. He has all of the chicks that he pulls with his tactical soap. Tisk tisk cobra. Tisk tisk. <laughs> uh, I'm surprised she's not trying to sell it for money. <laughs> and she's willing to put herself up there on the internet like that for money. I, I'm just surprised she's not um, selling yours for money. Drinking some electric crow, don't mind me. Oh. But oh, you're drinking old crow? Bro. That is like that is, that is like the cheapest whiskey you can get, dog. <laughs> what makes it electric? What what you put fucking voltage in it or something? I know you like your drink hacks. But no, Jessica Boyle needs to fucking leave me the fuck alone. A lot of my fans are sick and tired of her crap. I read the letter out loud that Jessica Boyle sent me with her little care package where she said the knife I gave her back. You know, and then like 10 years down the road, she'll complain and say, Oh, I want the knife back because you gave it to me. Like, that's the kind of person she is. Don't believe me? Case in point. When Jessica Boyle was fucking leaving Casper Wyoming the last time she was here... I tried to hand her her pink jacket that Chris bought for her, and she was like, I don't want that. Chris gave it to me, like I said earlier. And now she's, like, done a complete 180, and she's like, I want that jacket back. I'm like, no, you don't. You only want it back because it's been in my possession for several fucking days, and you're a fucking creepy stalker. Jessica Boyle is fucking mentally unstable and mentally unpredictable, and I wish she would just fucking leave me alone and stop talking about me on social media. Bro, we told you from the beginning. We told you from the beginning she was nuts. And you didn't listen. Because you were ending your dry spell, and that was more important to you. Everyone's giving me shit about this. And trying to compare it to me telling my ex crushes to to telling the internet to leave them alone. I'm like, okay, I would never stalk, stalk anyone. Dude. And when Jessica Boyle's doing all this crap to me, all my trolls point and laugh. You know what I'm saying? But like... If I say, hey, leave my ex crushes alone, I get called a stalker. That's fucking bullshit, dude. Josh. Josh, Josh, Josh. Regardless of what piece of Arby's roast beef lot lizard you've brung in, the internet will always point and laugh at you. Okay? The physique that you have. <laughs> you, you, your head looks like a peanut, my guy. You're making disgusting food hacks and drink hacks and just being a, a unfiltered regard. Like, where where do you think that you're ever going to get any sort of, like, peace from it? People are always going to point and laugh. That's what they do. It's the internet. Everybody's got a niche. Everybody's got a, a, a thing they like to point and laugh at. It's nothing new. Absolutely nothing new. No, Jessica Boyle fucking gave me that copper cup as a gift. He's reading chat. 
I fucking can't stand Jessica Boyle, and I wish she'd just fucking leave me alone. And she keeps talking all this shit about how much she fucking hates me, and what a horrible person I am, and how people warned her about me, blah, 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 but she still wants to come back to Casper. And I'm such a piece of shit, why the fuck? Oh, because I miss Casper, it's always an excuse with her. I can't fucking stand her, dude. And I wish she'd just fuck off and leave me alone. There's a video game. Cobra's, like, Cobra's Day Out or something like that. And you, you go through the day in life of, of King Cobra. And the loaf and jug, a little bit of lore you guys probably don't know. There was actually a robbery at that loaf and jug. It was an armed robbery with a goddamn katana. Someone robbed the store with a sword, dude. <laughs> So someone robbed the loaf and jug with a katana. <laughs> like, how do you? Oh, I I just want to come out here and play some katanas. <laughs> Give me all your money, bitch. <laughs> That's what's up, dude. I broke my fucking cigarette. <laughs> ah, man. Cobra, 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 you and Casper are some crazy characters. Crazy, crazy characters. I know Casper's a town and not a person, but it's just ridiculous. The closest I had was, um, there was a, a gas station, um, by where I work. It's like a couple miles from where I, where I work at. Someone robbed it with a, with a fucking MP5. Like, not, not an airsoft gun, not a BB gun. It was an actual full-auto MP5. <laughs> uh, like, uh, you had enough money to buy a full-auto 9mm submachine gun, and you're robbing gas stations. Like, that's weird. Unless you stole it from somebody. Like, I don't know how you can... Afford to to get a, a the tax stamp for the the machine gun, you know, buy an MP5. An MP5, even if you get in semi-auto, is like thirteen hundred dollars, fourteen hundred dollars. And then on top of that, it's also a sh if you get like the the actual like SMG version of it, it's also considered a short barrel rifle, even though it shoots pistol caliber, you know, ammo. So it's like a it's like the trifecta. So you got the 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 gun costs about fifteen. The the machine gun thing is another thousand on top of that, and then the short barrel is like three hundred, and that takes like months and months and months to process. You gotta wait like a year for that. What the hell, bro? <laughs> Me alone. How am I the one using her for content when I go several fucking days? Without talking about it on my fucking channel, focusing on my drink combos, my food hacks, and what's going on with Cobra. And then I watch a Drunken Peasants episode where several people have taken the several videos that Jessica's made about me in the last couple of days since she's been back to Virginia, clipping it because they know she'll deny it as soon as anyone calls her out on it. The whole letter she sent me was basically a reflection on herself. I didn't even want to read the letter out loud on camera because it was so fucking laughable. It was like she was talking about herself and then trying to project her own fucking problems and insecurities onto me, dude. Oh, she's now realized that I'm a horrible piece of shit and she can do so much. But yeah, I'll believe that when I see it, dude. Fucking hate Jessica Boyle. I wish she quit talking about me on her fucking channel. All it does is make me more famous. All it does is make people realize, dude, Jessica's fucking obsessed with Josh almost to the point of his trolls obsession. And even Josh's trolls hate Jessica. That speaks high volume. You know, I love how my fucking YouTube trolls can hate Jessica for the same things they do to me, but then turn around and it's like, oh, well, I hate Josh because of his fucking videos, but Jessica, oh, no, she's the worst. How dare she treat Josh like that? Fuck you. Like, my YouTube trolls have this fucking ego that makes them think they're the only ones allowed to treat me like shit and everyone else who does it is horrible. Fuck off. Cobra, we ridicule you for the stupid things that you do. We ridicule Jessica because she's just crazy. She's batshit, bro. 
We've been saying that since day one. She's crazy. As soon as I saw a picture of her, I was like, God. Oof. Are we in the Matrix? Because this is a hag raven from Skyrim if I've ever seen one. Like, dude. Whew. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck off, dude. Jessica Boyle said in that letter that she wants the copper cup back. I'm like, you gave that to me as a gift, so I'm not giving it back to you. That she wants the pink jacket back. And it's like, you left that here and said, I don't fucking want it. Because Chris gave it to me because she was mad at Chris at the time. And now she's no longer mad at him, I guess. And she wants it back because, oh, it's been in Josh's house. Oh, uh, the fucking delusional stalker attitude she has is severely fucking unhinged. It's Friday, and I wanted to let y'all know that I pressed charges on Jessica Boyle for revenge porn, and me sure did. Hmm. Sure the fuck did. Oh, God. Don't show your stomach. I let the cops... Don't show your stomach ever, Cobra. What was... What was... What was that? As is severely fucking unhinged. But I pressed charges on Jessica Boyle for revenge porn, and me Three, sure did. Two, one. Okay. Okay. Why? Why, Cobra? Shave this. What? Like, you... Uh, uh, you Neanderthal. You can grow all that hair on your stomach, but, that, like, none on your head, dude. God. Dude, you're, you're so gross, even your hair is escaping you. You're, you're so gross that your teeth are literally just falling out. Looking like a hockey player. Show the did I let the cops know the scoop of the situation and uh cause I'm tired of it Jessica Boyle will not leave me the fuck alone she claims she wants me back but then she does all this fucking stupid shit to try to piss me off and make me angry and make me want to fucking right in the face but it's like no I don't believe in that I do not all hey Cobra you know you got that shotgun I'm just saying like she tries to break in no one would blame you. No one would blame you, dog. Just just putting that out there. I'm not telling you you should do it. All this shit Jessica Boyle fucking talks, it's like, well, then you wouldn't fucking sit there and try as hard as you can to piss me off because you're not used to men loving you and caring about you. You're so used to rejection, that's all you accept and expect. So the idea of a man treating you decently, and she wants to sit there and say, all this crap that she talked in the letter, believe me, it's hilarious. If you read it, you would have been laughing yourself sick. I'm like, talk all the shit you want to talk, Jessica Boyle, because here's the thing of it. You love the ring I gave you, and when you get too drunk on fucking social media, you lose your shit and you mentally collapse. Watching Jessica Boyle cry over me is the funniest fucking goddamn shit. It gets my dick so fucking hard watching this psycho bitch fucking lose her shit, have no mental stability, and cry over Josh. And the best part of it is, is she can't have me because she did it to herself, dude. Looking like he got all that fucking swag on him. Cobra, I know the rest of this video is literally just going to be the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. Complaining about Jessica, complaining about Jessica, Jessica this, Jessica that, Jessica annoys me, Jessica won't stop contacting me, even though I fucking, you know, tell him, tell her not to, not to contact me. She still contacts me anyway, so I press charges on her tubes. That's most definitely what's up. But I gotta tell you something, Josh. Uh, boils get lanced. She can catch all the smoke. At this point, you should give absolutely no fucks. Keep your doors locked. Keep your windows locked. So she can't fuck with you. Ignore. Do you, Cobra. I know your your liver probably wants you to stop drinking, but I think at this point, it's kind of impossible for you to stop drinking. You probably have to go through some kind of medicated detox to get out of the, all the, the uh, alcohol out of your system. Even then, the liver damage is irreversible, so you're probably going to end up on a donation list sometime in the future. I don't know. I don't know what's going to get them first, either the liver or the diabetes, because you cannot put like 10 pounds of sugar into a mead 
It's not mead. Mead is honey beer. What you're making is a straight up abortion. Okay? And I don't want to sit here for 40 minutes because I don't have the patience tonight to do that because I have another video that I've been working on for the past like four days because trying to change things up a little bit. But Cobra, just do you, guy. Just do you. Don't care about her. Don't care about the trolls. Don't care about the people talking about you. Do you, Cobra. And granted, it would be a lot easier if you could do you if you had a job. Because you would have something to get up and go and do every day besides get up here on the internet and vent about your issues that you have because your psycho ex-girlfriend doesn't, uh, doesn't take the hint. You know what I mean? Like, I... I wouldn't be tuning in every every day to see the live stream if all you're doing here is 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 complaining about her. That's the gist of it. And with that being said, be good people. Be better than Cobra. Be better than Jessica. And as always, <laughs> ah fuck! I bit my tongue when I sneezed. <laughs> Fucking horror! <laughs> ah. <laughs> It's 12. I ain't going back and forth up on the internet. Hold her, told her friend I hit, now she won't let me get in that. Nigga steady asked me who I hit, but I don't get in that. Hit his head and watch it swell up, thought we used to fix and play. Nigga got strong warm about his heat and he ain't get it back. My gang on the work, we tryna turn them boys to plenty pack. Police took my girth and now I'm swerving, catching plenty hats. Catch me on the 30, probably purging with the biggest strap.